So in the last uh, video, I uh, I got to the point where uh, we talked about the constructor and the constructor parameters. And today we're going to talk about assigning values to instance fields. So in the left hand side, uh, we have a little bit of information about this. It says now that our constructor has a parameter, we must pass the values into the method call, which this means essentially that whenever we're going to create an instance of our car class, because we've defined a constructor that takes a parameter here, whenever we actually call this, uh, this constructor, which this one gets um, called automatically whenever we create an instance of this class or an object of type car. Because the constructor was defined like this, taking a parameter, we have to call, we have to pass in a value in here whenever we create an object of type car. Um, okay, moving forward, we pass the string value red. So this is talking about creating uh, a variable that is going to hold our new object created. And this object here is going to be of type car. And this is a variable. So the variable, the type of our variable is also car. And because the constructor here was defined uh, taking a parameter, as taking a parameter, that it means that whenever we, we call the actual constructor, we have to pass it a value because it, it's asking here to pass it some uh, value of type string and we are passing it here red and this is going to work just as fine. So this, this, uh, this code here. It says we pass the string value red to our constructor method. So to this one, uh, to our constructor method call. And we have it like this. The type of the value given to the invocation must match the type declared by the parameter. Exactly what I told, told you before. Of course, if the this constructor was defined that it takes a string uh, value here. So the type of the argument that's going to be passed here has to be of type string. And by the way, I need to make a quick mention. I've used a second ago the term argument. So in this case, this here, whenever we define a function or whenever we define in our case here, we define the constructor, which essentially is a method or is a function. So whenever we define it, this thing that is here is called a parameter. So we've defined the constructor with the parameter. Whenever we actually call, so whenever we make a call to this car constructor, which is here, Whatever we pass it, so the value that we pass it is called an argument, okay? So keep this in mind. Whenever you define a method or a function, if you're going to give it some sort of something here, that's, that's called a parameter. Whenever you call that function, whatever you pass it is called an argument, okay? So it's very straightforward. Just listen to what I just said um, now and you can even rewind it and listen it, listen to it again and you will understand that is a very simple difference but it makes it, it, it really does uh, it really is really important to understand uh, the difference between them two okay so some people are gonna use them interchangeably but it's good to know the difference between them so a parameter when you define it and an argument when you call it, okay? The type of the value given uh, to the invocation. So this is the invocation, yeah? You invoke this method, you call this method and the type of the argument you pass it 
is going to be, of course, the type that you defined, you defined it as, okay? This value is assigned to the instance field color. Is, defined, is assigned to the instance field here. Well, because we've done, because of this line here, we said color, which is this one, equals to, so this variable is going to take this value, which is this one, yeah? And we've passed the value of red. Okay, so this value assigned to the instance field, um, this value is assigned to the instance field color. Color has been declared, so we don't specify the type during assignment. So color, because it has been defined already up here, when, whenever we want to uh, refer to it, we're going to just use the name of the variable instead of the type as well, because it's already been defined. Now it's going to be recognized by, by our program. Okay, uh, then moving forward, the object Ferrari holds the state of color as an instance field referencing the value of red. Yes, is lots of fancy words. The object Ferrari. Yes, this is not. This is a. This is a uh, variable that holds our actual object here. Okay, so this Ferrari only contains the the address in memory where our object is is found. We access the value of this field with the dot operator. So we have Ferrari, we've created this one, yeah, that holds our object, this variable. And if we put the dot, we put the dot and we uh, use this name, the name of this variable, we can access its value. So we want to access the value of our Ferrari. And which value we want? Well, we want the color. And in turn, we're going to get red because this is what we've assigned to it. If we have a look at the instruction, it says inside the main method, create an instance of store and assign it, the va the, and assign it to the variable lemonade stand. Use lemonade as the parameter value. So Inside the main, let's find the main is here on line 10. I'm going to press enter. It says create an instance of store. So the way we do this, so for example, this is an instance of store, new store. Okay. And if we have a look at the, its constructor, it tells us that we need to have a value here because our constructor was defined to take a value of type string here. So when we define, we said this is called the parameter. When we call it, this is called the argument. Okay. So at this point, this is our object, but we need to contain this object into something. And what do we contain data in? Well, we put it in variables. Okay. So we're going to have a variable called lemonade stand. Okay, and the type of that variable is going to be store, of course, because if you remember from the previous lessons in the very beginning, we said that whenever we want to declare a variable, we need to have a type as well. So you give it a type and you give it the name. Okay, and here, this is a variable that holds a, this doesn't hold the actual object, it holds the address in memory of this object. Okay. Okay. We've done this run. We did point one. Let's move on to the second point. Print the instance field product type from lemonade stand. So product type, we have to System dot out dot print ln, and we have to um, display this on the screen. 
<clears throat> and um, print the instance field product type. Yes, we're going to run it. Yikes. Let's see what is the, um, the issue here. So print the instance field product type from Lemonade.